Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo and the ground control and the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and some differences in reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 232 pounds. Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. 
Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nurmago Medov gets touched by that kick there. Watch knees to the body. Right on the button. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, he leads with a power right hand there, DC. That'll work. Really sat down on that right hand. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost heart in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they are fighting behind the real well. Big call from Punch Man. Now we get back in range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective jab there by Nermago Medov. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. Throwing that jab, no good. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Can't take many of those, you better check. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good stick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Lunges forward with a left there. Finds a home for the left hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Good punch land. It's a nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Big power shot there. That's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Nurmago Medov strike attempt there is blocked. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware of your chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. He blocks the punch. Five minutes in the books. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed. At an alarming rate, his opponent needs to get his head 
off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angle. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free oh. piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Now a knee to the body. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back and forth we go! Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Of this Big leg kick land. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. <laughs> Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And potentially a critical takedown here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Again, back into his position. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing with beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Real quick leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice body. Some nice back and forth action here. And that one certainly found the target. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice head kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice kick. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly. But today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. 
They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with him. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in the round. Oh, it's so discouraging all right, because all you want to do ready? is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Unable to connect there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. Liver kick. Right hand on point. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Oh, man, look at that. Leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the stop. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, single call. Oh, huge right hand. He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Knee to the body. Beautiful knee. Nirmago Medov gets the tie clinch here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Nirmago Medov's his strike attempt there is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch from the clinch. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Nice. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, man, snapped his head back with the uppercut there. You can see him throw his entire body into that uppercut. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the uh, right now and fired up the video. To look. Oh, he's got a real good, too. Dude's hurt. Going now, nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! Those were bad. He 
great match on. That is it! He got him! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivlian has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle of All right, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carrying to the club tonight.